Well, the debate continues in Albany surrounding Governor Cuomo's emergency powers. And legislation put up by Democratic leadership is expected to pass through the state legislature as early as tomorrow. Our Capitol correspondent, Karina Capabianca, explains what the legislation on the table will and will not do. The legislation would block the governor from issuing any new directives. However, it would allow him to extend or to modify existing orders, provided that he gives notice to the legislature and they have time to review it. We are still in the thick of a pandemic. But the emergency part is over. Under the proposal, the governor has the ability to make modifications and extensions to current directives every 30 days. And those changes need to be sent to committee chairs and the leadership of the chambers at least five days ahead of time with an explanation and the chance for them to give feedback. Meanwhile, Republicans and some Democrats have pushed for a total revocation of the governor's powers. Republican Assemblyman Rob Smullen says the legislature should take all of the directives and zero them out. And then, with the legislature in session, go line by line, directive by directive, and vote and explain to all of our people why their freedoms, why their liberties have been taken for the last year, and decide which ones are necessary for the public health and safety. Meanwhile, Democrat Assemblywoman Pat Fahey, who is co-sponsoring the legislation, says it's about preventing disruption. She also says the legislature can repeal the governor's orders at any time by a majority vote. But there are a number of orders out there on vaccines. The fact that they can be done in gymnasiums or done in pharmacies. Those are things that have not been legislated. If we rescinded every order, when we take up this bill tomorrow, we could potentially disrupt vaccines. That is the last thing anybody wants to do. The proposal has no specific end date, but it allows the legislature to terminate the state of emergency at any time. In Albany, Karina Capabianca.